Hello and welcome to Let's Play Serious Sam HD. I'm Clown Skull, and today I'll be playing Alley of the Sphinxes. So, uh, when you start this level, you'll notice that you only have ammo for your cannon, which you may have picked up in the Metropolis level, but mostly you'll find you only have shotgun shells. And this is a very contrived plot point in which Sam dumps all of his ammunition into the desert. We've been running around with it quite fine up until now, but apparently, nope, we need to throw it in the desert. So, some lucky camel's gonna come across some rockets in the jungle, or desert rather. Desert jungle. Jungle of sand. Okay, let's continue on. We'll pick up this shard here, and basically what you'll notice in this level is that shit like this will just spawn all around you in this alley, as you may uh, have noticed it was called. Though there are no sphinxes, but I'm not quite sure why that is. Basically, the whole first part of this level is just down this narrow owl, just down this narrow corridor. It is open at the sides, you can run around, but run too far and you'll start getting boiled alive by the heat or something. Like I was talking about in the dunes level that never actually happened, which was quite disappointing. But basically, as you only have a shotgun, ranged combat is very difficult indeed. But do try your best. It's very nice. In the HD version, it's now night time in this level. It used to be late afternoon. I'm not quite sure the reason for that change. But it does make some quite nice atmosphere. So this reptiloid is going to give you a bit of trouble as it has ranged balls and you only have a pistol, but with a bit of good uh, circle strafing you should be able to avoid them. So just run around in circles and they'll probably miss you. That doesn't stop it being a giant pain in the ass though, so. I'm with you on that one. Okay, so. There is a lot of shotgun shells around, so don't be scared to waste them. Alright, nothing can possibly go wrong here. Let's just continue on it. Oh god, skeletons! They're behind us as well. Run, run! The double barrel shotgun's probably your best friend here if they're only coming at you one at a time. But when they're at a distance, you'll want to get the pistols out and weaken them. So, like, exactly not what I'm doing. I'm using the rocket launcher here. That's also a good idea, but it's probably not necessary. Just make sure you have your strafing on. Remember they have a wide turning circle. Okay. And then I said that, and man, the whole place went up, but never mind. Alright, so uh, we've just triggered something here. Back up. Remember, you have almost infinite room to back up, so just keep running backwards. Just keep running backwards. Weaken them as best you can. It's like, uh, think of it as exterminating the, uh, the undead of your backyard. So just think about it like, you've gone outside to, uh, I don't know, drink a beer on the deck or something, and all of a sudden there's skeletons everywhere! And, uh, you've got to get rid of them. And the only way you can get rid of them is to shoot them with guns. If you imagine that scenario right now, then you'll probably be doing good. Or well, rather. So just remember to shoot them with the pistols to weaken them, and then finish them off with the shotgun.
It's now the long walk back. I guess on the way I'll entertain you with a bit of a, uh, a song. Alright? So... Da, 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 da. Those lyrics were genius. This guy was uh, being a bit of a jerk, standing right there and he wouldn't move. Just die already. Fuck. Holding me up? I'm in a rush here. I'm late to a very important meeting. With death. Alright, there's a secret area up here by this tree way out where. There it is. Man, those guys gave us some trouble. Now look at this biomechanoid here. We don't really have any ammo, so let's count how many it takes to take this guy down. So we're up to 12. They have a fuckload of health. Now we're starting on the shotgun shells. I don't want to waste my rocket ammo, you see. Still going. It's fucking invincible. Alright, there we go. Yay! Jesus Christ. What a jerk. I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking go to that guy's funeral and I'm going to read out the eulogy and none of his biomechanoid friends are gonna be very impressed because I will We're still only about halfway as you can see here. Okay, now this is why I saved the rockets. Cause these wearballs are really tough without them. There was only two of them, but there will be more later. So, hoard those rockets, you son of a bitch. Hoard them. Maybe we should backtrack back into the uh, desert jungle to find them. They've probably been eaten by vultures right now, though. You'll see later on vultures flying over overhead and exploding because they consumed explosive material that I dumped into the desert. Okay, so here's the cannon that we would get if we didn't get it in Metropolis. Look at the size of that thing. I'm not sure why Sam was delayed on his voice. He's supposed to say it when walking towards the cannon, but fuck it. Alright, so with these wearables, you want to just fire off some rockets at them. It takes two direct hits from a rocket launcher to take them down. Just don't let them get too close, and don't accidentally shoot a rocket into a tree, because that'll hurt a bit. And it damages the tree. It's not very nice. There aren't exactly a lot of trees out in the desert, so you need to save the ones that there are. There is. I mean... Fuck it. That was easy, wasn't it? That's why you want to save all your rockets, so that that... We're coming up to a nice little circle spawn section here, so... That's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. I'm really excited for it. I'm really excited for it! There's definitely enough health and armor around here, that's for sure. Okay, so we we'll just check the exit. Yeah. Doesn't look like they're going to spawn just yet. Yes. You're usually safe so long as the door remains open. It's when it closes that you're going to start getting attacked. Okay, the door's closed. Bring it on, you bastards. Bring it on. It's best to take them out with the shotgun, because it does the most damage, and you're most... Well, it's most reliable on taking out everything. Because you really don't want these kamikazes getting too close to you, because they explode. But you knew that. If you didn't know the kamikazes exploded up until now, well, they do, so I'm just letting you know. Alright, so the main reason for this being slightly difficult is because the skeletons kind of fuck up your choice of weapon. Because they take two shotgun shells, which means you're constantly flicking between shotguns. But wait a minute, what's that noise? Is 
Where's that? It's music. Where's that? But that means that that means I'm going to. Doesn't? Isn't that the death music? Or is it? Uh, well, I'm pretty far from death at the moment. I can survive a bit longer. Oh! Oh God! No! Like I was ever gonna die. And they even dropped a heart for us here just to be nice. So let's pick all this shit up and carry on, shall we? Oh, what? Wearballs? Well, this is easy enough. You know what to do. They sort of get a bit close here, so you might want to use the double barreled shotgun. So long as you strafe well, they can't really hit you because they're pretty fucking stupid. And they have a wide turning circle, so... They're not exactly going to be ramming up your ass anytime soon. So just keep running in circles. And you'll get there eventually. Man, it's so boring, I'm almost going to sleep. Oh, fuck. Tell you what, this is the most boring fucking game. This just in, this game is awesome. Sorry, uh, in the break I got a got a phone call from Crow Team. They're telling me that they're telling me in their Croatian accents, which I can't emulate very well. They were saying that uh, they were appalled with me calling their game boring. More on this story as it develops. No, no, actually they're waiting for me to place the four elements I collected up until this point onto the altars. So, placing each one will spawn a fuckload of enemies, which we're going to have to DESTROY WITH VENGEANCE! I'm not sure what we're avenging. Maybe it's some sort of, like, metaphysical future of vengeance. In any case, these, uh, headless apes really... They really want me dead for some reason. I don't know why. What did I ever do to them? So basically, you've gotten the idea by now. You just want to run around and you want to kill everything. So now for altar number two. It's pretty much just the same, repeated four times. There's not much else I can say. Just uh, don't die. I guess that's my best advice. <laughs> On 
Welcome to altar number three! In a second, I saw in the distance there's this guy there and he's running about like a fucking dickhead! So I'm gonna have to take him down. With some sniper pistols, fuck yeah! The light sources look really fucking weird in this game. I don't know if it's just because my graphics are turned all the way fucking down, or whether it just looks like shit, but... I don't know. One more to go. I'm excited. Because... Well, I know what's going to happen when I place all four elements down. It's going to, uh, so oh, oh, I better not give it away. That'd be, uh, that'd be a bit disappointing. I want it to be a surprise. And, uh, hopefully it will be a surprise for you, because... Okay, the last altar is here. Let's place it down and fight our way to the end. Alright, that was some weird pronunciation, but we're gonna roll with it. I fucking love the laser. I love the laser gun! I love the laser gun, it's so great. Marry me, laser gun. Take a look at all this shit that spawned. Let's see what happens when I pick it up. Oh, we're just walking. We're walking to the exit. Oh, what the fuck! <laughs> Sorry, I lost control a bit there. Uh, basically, this is a boss, and well, there's not really much you can do. You just want to shoot cannonballs. I thought, I got the laser gun out here because I thought you could try and shoot down his projectiles and it wasn't working, but I think it's, upon seeing the video, I think it's because I missed every single fucking shot. So I'm still not clear on whether or not you can shoot them down. Uh, shooting him will spawn smaller golems, which you'll be seeing later on in the game. Uh, they become a constant enemy. But basically, they have a lot of health and the medium sized ones can usually be taken down with a single cannonball shot and the little ones are I think one shotgun shell of damage worth of health so I still made it out with a fuckload of health and armor so it's not particularly a very hard fight so I wouldn't get too worked up about it I'm pretty sure even on serious mode it isn't that difficult so just Uh, and then just carry on. Alright. We made very, very short time of that level. Alley of the Sphinxes, Alley of the Sphinxes. There weren't even any fucking Sphinxes in the entire level. I just don't understand it. It's really stupid running animation. You
Okay, so well done. You have just completed Alley of the Sphinxes. And we did it with very, very good score. So, thanks for watching. Next time, next video, I believe that you will be watching Karnak. Until then, see ya.